Gas versus Diesel, the Environmental Showdown. Digging into the whole gas versus diesel battle, it boils down to several factors that play key roles in the environmental impact. Both have their dirty laundry, but let's air it out. Emissions and air quality diesel gets a bad rap, and for the most part, it's well deserved. Those big rigs rolling down I 5 spewing out thick plumes of exhaust aren't exactly poster children for clean living. Diesel engines generally produce more nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulates, tiny bits of soot, both of which are bad news for air quality. These particulates are especially troublesome. They're like a black tie gala in your lungs where no one wants an invite. Gasoline engines, however, tend to emit more carbon dioxide, CO2, per gallon burned. That's the stuff that gives climate scientists nightmares, turning up the Earth's thermostat. So if we're scoring this round, it's a bit of a toss up. Diesel's got the lung blackening particulates and NOx, while gas invites more CO2 to the party. Fuel efficiency and carbon footprint. Here's where diesel starts to clean up its act. Diesel engines are famously more fuel efficient than gas engines. That means for each gallon of diesel burnt, you're getting more miles out than you would with gas, which translates to lower CO2 emissions overall. Pretty good, right? Better fuel economy also means a diesel-powered vehicle could have a lower carbon footprint over its lifetime, provided it's maintained properly and not doing its best impression of a rolling coal mine. Advancements in Technology it's not all doom and gloom, though. The diesel world has been doing some homework and coming up with technology like particulate filters and catalytic converters that cut down on those nasty outputs. Modern diesel engines aren't the smog monsters they used to be, and in some aspects, they're on par with gas engines in terms of emissions. Similarly, advances in gasoline engine technology, like direct injection and variable valve timing, have increased efficiency and reduced emissions. Both camps are trying to clean up their act, and the gap between gas and diesel is narrower than it once was. Renewable Alternatives and the Future It's also worth mentioning that both diesel and gasoline have renewable alternatives popping up, with biodiesel and ethanol in the mix. These have different environmental considerations, but they can potentially reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. The Oregon Perspective Living in Portland, Oregon, I see an intense focus on environmental consciousness. It's a big deal here because we're surrounded by natural beauty, and we want to keep it that way. We've got electric vehicle charging stations popping up like mushrooms, and diesel isn't winning popularity contests. The renewable energy movement is strong in this corner of the world, which could very well tip the scales more in favor of alternative fuels as we move forward. So, which is worse for the environment? Unfortunately, there's no crown for the cleanest fossil fuel. They're both kind of like choosing between a rock and a hard place. It's more about choosing the lesser of two evils depending on your priorities, immediate air quality or long-term climate impact. The real winner will be whichever can transition to renewable sources more effectively. In the meantime, we do what we can, advocating for cleaner technologies and making personal choices that align with a greener vision. And remember, whether you're filling up with gas or diesel, it's not just what's in the tank. It's also about how you drive and maintain your vehicle. So let's all take a page out of Portland's eco-friendly playbook and keep pushing for a future where the question isn't which conventional fuel is worse, but how we got rid of both.